If your current partner or current reseller stinks or they're not giving you much value, completely understand it might be worthwhile to go directly back to Google. If you're a large enterprise, so I'm talking about 100 employees and above, then you can actually get access to some discounts by working with the Google sales team. Can we move from one reseller to direct with Google? Okay, great question. So if you're a small business owner and you've got Google Workspace and currently you're buying it through a reseller, you can have your account switched back to being billed directly with Google. Now, there may be some reasons that you wanna do that and I'm, I'll highlight those, but there are also some quite large disadvantages to that, or let's say some advantages you'll miss out on when working with a partner. Now, why might you wanna go back to Google and how do you actually get it done? Well, if your current partner or current reseller stinks or they're not giving you much value, completely understand it might be worthwhile to go directly back to Google. If you're a large enterprise, so I'm talking about 100 employees and above, then you can actually get access to some discounts by working with the Google sales team. Depending on where you are in the world, there may or may not be a sales team. If you're in Australia or the UK, or you're in Singapore or Hong Kong, or if you're in the US, obviously, you can work directly with Google and they'll give you discounts. But if you're a smaller business, they're less likely to even talk to you because they're looking for big accounts to work with. And they have some sales reps and different sales initiatives from time to time that do target small business owners. But the best thing that you can do if you're a small business is to actually work with a partner. Now, if you want to go from a partner to Google Direct, it's pretty straightforward. You can either go to your partner and request to be released. Now, some may or may not do this, but um, under the Google partner terms and the reseller terms, they actually have to release you. There's no reason that they can hold you to your re or to their reseller account. The partner must release you. So if you've signed up via Wix or you've signed up via Squarespace or you've signed up via a IT business of some sort and they're a Google partner, you can go to them and request to be released. Now, if you haven't paid your bill or there's some kind of dispute, they may hold that, but technically they're not supposed to. Now, the other option is you can go to Google and you can request a release. So you go to Google support, you authenticate with Google support and you say, hey, I'm not liking my reseller. I would like to be released, please. And Google will make a submission in the back end to the partner for that account to be released. Here's where it gets a little bit into a bit of a gray area. That partner can delay stall, tell Google not to release that account back to direct billing with Google. They shouldn't. And without a legitimate reason, it shouldn't happen. But the partner does have the ability to do that because it's a manual process. It's not an automatic process. So the fastest and the easiest way for you to be released from a reseller back to direct billing with Google is that you talk to the reseller and you ask them, hey, can you please release my account? Now, when that happens, when they release an account, what happens is you have a grace period. I think it's 14 days, maybe it's 30 days where you have the opportunity to reset up your billing Again, I don't think you get any free time on the licenses, but you do get the opportunity at least to have time to set up your billing again so you can be properly billed for your Workspace account without losing your service, right? It doesn't stop the service or pause receiving emails in the meantime, it releases your account, and then you get an email that says, hey, you need to set up billing for your account with a grace period. You then need to set up billing for your account to continue. It's a pretty easy process. You just have to punch in a credit card as the admin who's got access to the billing settings in the admin panel, and then you're off to the races. Now, I said that I would explain and outline some of the advantages of working with and sticking with a partner because there are a number. If you've got a partner that you're working with, they can get you access to deals that for the most part, Google won't necessarily give you access to. Now, I said earlier that Google may work with you directly as a sales team and help you get access to pricing, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna give you the best price. See, as partners, we've got access to margin and we can play with those numbers sometimes even more than Google are willing to. The other thing that we have is leverage with Google because we have hundreds and for us, in our case, thousands of workspace accounts under our management, we can push Google and especially with larger customers, we can ask them to give us really, really good deals. Now, sometimes we'll pull off deals for customers that Google would just have no way of getting anywhere near because we're a commercial business and we want to win a customer's business. So if you're not yet working with a partner or maybe you are working with a partner and they're not giving you good value right now, well, consider changing to a different partner rather than going with Google directly. If you're interested in working with us, you can click on the link down below, head to itgenius.com and book a consultation with our team. Let them know about your business and where you're at, whether you're a sole operator, a micro business with just a couple of staff, or if you're a large organization with hundreds or even thousands of staff, we help businesses all over the world with their workspace accounts. And we do this stuff all day, every day. We're bona fide experts and we'd love to help you get more value out of the platform. If you still have questions on this topic, drop them down below in the comments.